Hey friends, today we are in the Highland Galapagos Crater Tour. It is in the center of the island of Isla Santa Cruz, and we were given a trusty map to take us around. Should I hold it this way? Or that way? Wait, okay, there's north. It shows north on there. Let's pull up the compass and see where we're at. All right, there's north. So we're heading east right now. Perfect, yeah, so we're gonna head this way. Whew. Good thing the Compass Rose was on here. It's only about 500 meters around, but there's all sorts of things on this map that we're gonna get to experience from lava tunnels to a cool lake that we might be able to paddle around and also potentially squeeze our own sugarcane juice using a donkey. So I don't know, we'll see what it is, but let's go on this tour together. That was fun. <laughs> so beautiful. What a great view. <laughs> you can see the ocean, Puerto Ayora, um, and just like an amazing open, vast forest. It doesn't look like a lot of people live amongst these trees, which is kind of cool. I think most of the island is not inhabited. Uninhabited? Uninhabited. Yeah. So this is gorgeous. Cool. Wow, look at these vertebrae. We made it to the animal farm. These animals are so sweet. We just fed some little goats. I think those are chickens. It sounds like it. Um, they're super pretty and really colorful. This is nice. I love this. I love this. I don't know what this thing is, but it's furry and gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I think this is a wild boar. Is it wild though? It's not wild, but like when you imagine a wild boar, it would be like huge like that and furry looking. It's kind of furry spiky and it's got horns. It's so cute. Come look at it. Oh, is it full? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Is this good? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is Pumba. Pumba. Hey, uh, Danny says hi. Danny says hi, Pumba. Now we understand. So he is a warthog. When I was a young warthog. Remember that? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> donkeys. Really beautiful donkey. Look at their velvety coats. They're gorgeous. You're so soft. Look at this pretty color and this mohawk. Oh, you're beautiful. Machete. Alright, I think that we'll see them eat. Come on, these. down. That was a big banana. It's one of those cool square kind of bananas. All right. Oh, geez. Uh, it looks like you've got an audience. You have enough for everybody? I don't, I think I give each of them one. Maybe. You think? We'll let you give some too. Okay. I'm starting with this one. First, first Woo! <laughs> okay. You're closest. You're closest. Okay, I'll be back. Another one. And we need one more. There 
There we go. I think he's already had one. I think give one to that guy first. Okay. All right, so we just harvested all of our bananas off of the banana bunch. Now let's give these guys a banana. Oh, there's a fifth donkey. Now we got two more stuff. That's fun. This was cool. Awesome. I had fun with this. I wonder what type of donkeys those are. It's a very specific type with that zebra stripe. Zebra donkey. The zebra donkey. All right. Cool. I'm cool with that. Nice me go. There we go. Bye, new friends. Aaron's kind of pokey. We got to keep moving down the trail because we've only been to number two of 10 and it's already been 30 minutes. I can't help it. I love the animals. I love these orange trees. They're like <laughs> these magical balls hanging from a tree. Oh, these flowers! <laughs> Lava tunnels were formed years ago, not like last year, like millions of years ago when lava was pulsating through the Earth's crust, making these tunnels that we get to enjoy today. It smells like dirt. Yeah, it does smell fresh, doesn't it? I like it. All right, let's, let's go check this place out. Wow, that's pretty. Aaron's descending deep into the depths of the Earth in this lava tunnel. Luckily, there's no lava currently flowing through here, and you can't even feel the heat from it any longer. The part that amazes me the most is that nature made a staircase here. How incredible is that and thoughtful of the mother. Light in the distance is Aaron helping me find my way. You've got this, Garcia. Thanks. I'm crawling from the belly of the cave, the lava tunnel. I'm really... Millions of years ago, this would have been the path of least resistance from molten lava. Now we're climbing out of it. I don't think I'm pushing hard enough. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Watch your head. What the hell? Grab another one. In your mouth. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't be jelly beat. This is you? Jelly. Okay. Buen trabajar. That sugar cane. So this is straight sugarcane juice and we're supposed to try it first. Oh, wow. It's mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> a little straw also. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. And this looks like a, like a wooden straw. Es bambu también? Si, bambu. Yeah. Wow. It really works. Holy smokes. Deliciosa. 
That was really good. Holy smokes. We're going to have to get one of these machines when we get our place. And a film on. Yeah, and a film on. Or we could just push it ourselves. One of the two. Ah, this has been such a great tour. So fun. We've got to meet all kinds of really cute little farm animals. We got to meet cooies. Um, we got to meet Filmon, the donkey who makes cane juice. Yeah. What a nice guy. This is such a cool idea. Like, you know, there, there's these this natural place occurring and someone owns this land mm -hmm. and they decided, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and share the beauty of nature that has existed here for millions of years from mm -hmm. the volcanic lava tunnels to the beautiful crater area that's now a, a forest full of bananas and all sorts of fruits and vegetables and stuff, yep. sustaining naturally the life that lives here. Yeah. Such a great idea to allow other people to experience it and it was yeah. only five bucks to come in here it was yeah. pretty cool yeah and i think the thing that i like most about it is that they have really left it very natural like there's mm -hmm. in some parts there's still vines and stuff growing over paths and things like that but i think that's what makes it like this really rustic natural feel is that this land is not disturbed and these people are contributing back to the planet instead of taking away from it and just like making it a tourist attraction they've really just like stayed true to this world and what it's meant to be like and just let the plants and stuff grow naturally which is really nice yeah so when you're on isla santa cruz here in the galapagos definitely check this place out it's definitely worth an hour and a half or two hours it's taken to, to walk through here yeah and until next time friends adventure on adventure on bye <laughs>